We grew up a team. Let's get into it. Oh, right. So this topic is called the homos stressing. Ironic. Okay. So <laughs> a handsome, short, caramel, genius ex-boyfriend of late 20s, Aaron Mack, scared him during a stressful disagreement by telling him that relationships mean stress. And the farther a relationship goes, the more stressful it will become. Now, Aaron Mack felt uncomfortable with that, and it triggered the first of multiple breakups. Now, do you agree that LTRs should be expected to be inherently stressful? Why? Why not? And to reiterate, dude is a genius. And what was he trying to communicate to Aaron Mack about LDRs? What at, at least what do you think he was trying to communicate? Okay. Um, so first and foremost, I love how you always describe, you know, you make the you make the lips drop. You should probably write a book. Handsome, short, <laughs> man. Gee, you know, you make sometimes somebody out here <laughs> get, you know, going through the motions out here. <laughs> but back to the stress dis disagreement that you had with him about, you know, furthering your relationship and how it becomes an add how it adds more stress. Um, you know, Aaron Mac, you know, sometimes, you know. When you think about things like that relationship, you can't say relationship and stress in the same sentence. So you messed up. You don't put those two in the same sentence because it's already seemed like a red flag. You know, one of those, you know. But uh, do I feel, do I agree that long-term relationships should be inherited, inherently stressful? I do not. Because what I need for you to do is take your luggage from the last two relationships that you had and uh, shake them out and drop all that shit out there and leave, make clean the luggage out because we're going to go on vacation and we might need to use it. But I need the other shit out that you have from all that past that you've been through and leave it outside. Don't even bring it near my dough. Leave it out there when we're ready to go on vacation. On vacation, you know. But other than that, you should not inherit the stress. First of all, I wasn't the one you was with, went through the stress with that caused those problems. So don't come over here to Jones Street and try to take it out on me because I'm not with it. I'm not doing that. So if you want to be on this side, you need to make sure you check that luggage out and come ready to prepare to be on a mission together to take over the world like Pinky Um, But yeah, that's how I feel about when it comes to uh, trying to uh, communicate about long-term. Wait, so last part is, um, what are you trying to communicate um, when it comes to <laughs> being a, I, I just felt like maybe what I said, like stress and relationships shouldn't go together. Don't talk together. Like you should ultimately, you know, be building your relationships be. It should be like, when you hear it, when you think about it, it should be love, it should be peace, all these other things outside of stress. So, um, yeah, you know, um, hopefully, you know, you learn from that and he learned from that and have it maybe, you know, you'd be a better man from today. Hopefully all our mistakes, not just you, but well, we all go through relationship mistakes as we move along. I, I realized this time, and I'm going to say it on platform because I want people to be able to hear it, play it, go back, move forward, you know what I'm saying? But I it's important that I feel like as LGBTQ, within the LGBTQ uh, dating community, uh, especially when it comes to men um, on our side, in a sense, you know, it's scary when you were you over 30 and you've never been in a long-term relationship. It's kind of scary. Because it's like, if you can't commit at least one year with somebody at this time in your life, how the hell? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. For me personally, that's scary. Because I'm a relationship-oriented person and I've always been. But I ain't been in one in a long time, maybe four years, but I've been in several long-term relationships, meaning to me, long-term is more than two years. So I've been in several more than years. So I feel like it's important to have had that kind of foundation because Kay Michelle said can't raise a man. I just don't want to be out here, you know, man carries a woman, can't raise whatever. They out, whatever you do, like adults, can't raise another adult pretty much. Like, come on, like we didn't, that's not like, that's not our job. Like some of us are parents. I'm a dad. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to have to be raising a whole other person when I have a whole little person that I'm raising. So I ain't got time for it. So I feel like you know, it's just little things like that. Just just be more cautious. Find somebody, one person you can on the same wavelength, on the same vibe. You can commit to and build some spirits under your belt. That's it. That's it. Build some spirits.
Um, yeah, I'm done. Go ahead, Shy. Sorry. Um, do I agree that long term relationships should be expected to be inherently stressful? No, you never really expect to be stressed out. <laughs> But it honestly, it just kind of happens. Like you both have your own stresses. Sometimes that moves into the relationship. Um, sometimes outside things can be a force of stress. Like a communication could be a stress on the relationship, but you don't never really expect the shit. It just happens like that. Um, uh, let me see. What was he trying to communicate with Aaron Mag? He probably was trying to say that he was stressed out. <laughs> Aaron, that's why we were trying to say, like he was probably just stressed out. So that's why he said the shit, because that's how he felt at the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that was just what he said. It was, it was good. Go out. That's probably why, uh, though. You know. All right, Kel. Kel comes talk talk to the people. Do you agree with the long term? It should be expected to inherit inherently stressful. What you talk? What you think about it? I agree with you that you don't expect it to be, but it do happen. And I like me, I just got out of a, a seven year relationship and it was very stressful. It was like the most stressful wow. thing of my life, actually. It was wow. really stressful um, because it was just too much, you know, and that's what happens in long term relationships because, you know, you have they're dealing with things from work, their past family issues, current family issues, and then you're dealing with things and then you're trying to uh, work together to make something work and it probably won't because you're two different people talking on two different levels of communication and it just won't work and it becomes very very stressful um so yeah it, it will be stressful most of the time it's two different people unless you have two people on one wavelength then it probably won't be stressful but other than that that's very uncommon so. absolutely talk about it what do, you, what do you think he was trying to tell Aaron Mack when he told him relationships are successful what do you think he was trying to tell him? Uh, the truth. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Ooh! Okay. Ooh, yeah. I tell you, you're up to the ass. <laughs> uh, Chrissy, do you agree that long term is inherently be stressful? What do you think? Um. Yeah, you should expect some stress, but, uh, you know, uh, like Shai said, uh, you know, it, you can't always, it doesn't, you don't expect it to, but sometimes that's how it ends up. If you're both dealing with stress and you're not communicating about it. But like what Kel said, if you're on the same wavelength, you're going to, you're going to want to listen. You're going to want to understand. You're going to want to build off of that and work through it together without taking out on your partner. But, um, Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, every everyone tries to communicate. Uh, I agree with what you said. Kel told her he was trying to communicate the truth, and and because he was stressed out, that you know, it's hard to communicate when they're stressed, when they're under pressure a lot of times, you know. Um, and then, and if you're not able to communicate all of the outside pressures you have with the one that you are in a partnership with long term, then it is going to be stressful. You got to talk to each other about stuff, you know? It's just, that's what mm -hmm. it is. If you like that person, if you love that person, want to build, that's what it is. You got to make the time to sit down and, you know, get grounded, you know? So you can okay. sit down and, and talk about everything. Right. That's my answer. Russ Definitely agree. Coming from a woman who's married, okay? She's telling you. She don't play with it, okay? Right now. All right. So, um, cool. So, we answered this question. This is one of our main topics. We have our last main um, last main topic of the night. It's our Ace Metaphor card. So, Emily's going to read. Uh, we have two out of, uh, we probably do two out of three cards, you know, um, uh, the powers that be tell us what we're doing. Um, but the question will probably end up here with the same questions we all seen, but the question's going to pop up. So, um, with these questions, it doesn't have to be moderated or, you know, started with someone else. If you feel most led to this question, then you answer it first. That's just how we do it. So, uh, Aaron, take it away. 